Go to streamlabs.com and log in in your Twitch account. And here on the left, click on the alerts box. Here is a list of alerts. We can customize each of them. Follower alert is already selected here. Now I will set it up. Here you can choose a layout and image, add sounds, duration, and font settings. Let's click on preview on the right side to see how the alert looks. By default, the layout is set to image above the text and a default image has been added. To change the video for alerts, you need to click on the icon opposite here. You can choose one from stock that is already available on Streamlabs. For example, I'll select this image panel and click select at the bottom right. I'll click preview again. The text is displayed below the image, but we need it to be directly on the image. To do this, I'll change the layout to text over image and click preview again. The text is too large. To change the text size, let's scroll down and here you can make the font smaller. I'll reduce it by 36 pixels. Now the text and the alert look very good. To add your own custom image, you need to click again on the icon opposite the image option. Click here and select a video file with your alert. I'll choose mine and click select at the bottom right. Here you can choose the duration of the alert. It's usually better to set it to no more than 15 seconds as anything longer might be excessive. It's better to set the text delay one second. You can also choose an alert sound if you have one or select one that's already available on Streamlabs. Click save settings at the bottom right. Here above, we copy the widget URL. We switch to OBS. On the sources panel, right click, add, browser. I'll name this Streamlabs Alerts and press enter and paste the widget URL here, then click okay. I'll go back to Streamlabs and click on the top. Test, Twitch, follows. I'll return to OBS to see how they appear in here. If you have multiple scenes created, the widget can be copied to several scenes using Control C and Control V to other scenes. All that's left is to return to Streamlabs and set up the rest of the alerts you need in a similar way. Subscribe for more.